Fellow Toastmasters, most welcome guest. Who's on your $20 bill? Andrew Jackson. Andrew Jackson. Andrew Jackson. Andrew Jackson. By the way, who's on the $10 bill? Alexander Hamilton. Tonight I'd like to talk about Alexander Hamilton, Andrew Jackson, and Harriet Tubman. And while we're getting started with that, Rita so graciously consented to hand out a little handout. It's, it's very interesting. The money's not a handout. <laughs> it's very interesting. We have 11 paper currencies denominations. Eight of those are presidents, two are secretary of treasurers, and one is one of our founding fathers, Benjamin Franklin. Women <clears throat> are in that group? Any women? No. No women. By the way, <clears throat> do you remember when the right to vote was given to women? 1920. 19th Amendment. And so there are a group of ladies that have a website and they would like to have the $20 bill change by 2020, the 100 year anniversary. Let's go back to the people that are on our bills right now. Alexander Hamilton. Who is this guy? Well, he was the aide to George Washington during the Revolutionary War. Pretty much a self-made man. Graduated from King's College, which is now Columbia University. Quite brilliant. And he was one of the people that agitated for the Continental Congress to have a constitutional convention. And he was very instrumental in that convention. And after the Constitution was written, there was a lot of controversy. What does it mean? How's it going to work out? Does the president have too much power? So on. Well, he wrote 51 articles of the 85 that are in our Federalist paper defending the Constitution. When George Washington became uh, our first president, who did he name for the first Secretary of Treasury? Alexander Hamilton. And what did he accomplish as our first president? Well, number one, he honored all the debts from the Revolution. These were paper notes to soldiers. Some of them have been sold to speculators. He assumed the debts of each state that had not paid off their debts yet. And he also made sure that foreign countries were paid off the debts from the Revolution, mainly France. Why did he do this? Because he wanted the United States government to have the full faith and credit of not only its own people, but of the whole world. Which meant that we could borrow money, both internally and externally. Another thing that he did that I am very impressed with, he started the first national bank. And that's also the foundation of our banking system today. Visiting hours for adult services are over in 10 minutes. Thank you for your cooperation. Now what about this other guy, our sixth president, Andrew Jackson? Well, many people think that if Andrew Jackson could see his image spitting out of ATMs, he would be spinning over his grave. Why? Andrew Jackson hated paper money. He did not believe in paper money, hard currency, round things, coins, silver and gold preferably, was what he believed in. And he closed down the second national bank. And soon after, when he left office, our country went into about a four or five year depression because of all the financial issues that in, were involved with that. Another big black mark against Jackson, in my opinion, was that he signed an act of Congress which allowed all the Indians from the southeast, southern states, to be forcibly relocated to where? Oklahoma. Indians got the last laugh because in the 1920s they found oil on the reservations. So I don't think that Jackson, although probably did many good things as a president, 
If we're going to have them on something, let's put them on some round money, not paper money. Now, what about this other person, Harry Tubman? This website that you have there has been collecting names of people that want to change the $20 bill. They have 600,000 people that have signed up so far, and the first one on the list is Harriet Tubman. Who is she? Well, she was an ex-slave that escaped, and then she helped other slaves escape during the 1850s, the, what was called the Underground Railway. She was also a spy for the North during the Civil War. So a very prominent person for helping slaves be free back when it was a very dangerous thing to do. I think it would be great to see Harriet Tubman on the $20 bill. Well, what's happening as far as the government's concerned? What does it take? An act of Congress? The President? What? Well, unfortunately, all it takes is the Secretary of Treasury to make a decision. The last time paper money was changed was in 1929. We tend to leave our paper money alone. But Jack Lew, our present treasurer, has decided he's going to change. What's he going to change? The $10 bill. Our founding father, our first Secretary of Treasury, he's going to take him off the bill and, and put somebody on. He doesn't know a lady. Now, maybe he will be on the back of the bill. Nobody knows exactly. There has been no final decision made. But so far, it's going to be the $10 bill. So I urge you, let your voice be heard. If you would like to, sign up on the website and pick the lady of your choice, no matter who it is. And let's hope we can influence our present Secretary of Treasurer to honor our founding father. Our first treasurer, uh, Mr. Hamilton. <laughs> <Remember>? <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.